Hey there, uh, Lindsay Messina here, and I'm sorry I've been a little lax on my vlogs, but I'm back, and I am in full swing into my second trimester of being pregnant with our little baby girl. Yes, we're having a little girl, and we're so excited. She's due March 8th, and this little, we like to call it Choochie. Don't ask why my parents named her, but this little Choochie, she just started kicking this week. I'm going on 22 weeks. And it was funny, we were laying in bed and she had these like little pops that I think she was her legs kicking and it was the most un amazing magical feeling. I, I felt pressure and this feeling in my stomach for a while, um, especially right after I ate, but it wasn't a very distinct kick or a very distinct feeling of the baby inside me, but this week we had that feeling, we had that experience. Um, so I wanna shoot this video for a couple of reasons, one, I'm sorry, I know I was supposed to shoot videos, but I have just been busy crazy. We just got married a couple of weeks ago, getting ready for that, and um, now I'm just starting to wind down after prepping for the wedding and now after the wedding. So after, after everything is settled down, I have experienced some crazy things in the last couple of weeks, and I would like to share them with you. So if you're watching this video, you're probably pregnant, or you've probably been pregnant before. So... Don't take this video too seriously because I'm kind of a jokester, um, but I'm so fortunate to be pregnant and we're so happy, but there's so many things that I didn't expect, especially being a fitness model and a competitor and very athletic my whole life. I'm dealing with some things that I've never dealt with before and it's kind of crazy. So I wanted to share with you because I think a lot of people go through this, but they just don't talk about it. So I feel like I need to talk about it with you. And this needs to be a conversation that we need to have amongst women. So um, the other week, I was right before the wedding, I was, you know, doing what I do and everything else. And all of a sudden, I'm putting lotion on my legs and I'm putting lotion on my arms. And all of a sudden, I'm like, holy cannoli, I have massive cellulite all over my legs, all over my arms, and even on the side of my stomach. I was like, holy crap. I, Yeah, every woman has cellulite, right? I have always had cellulite on my butt, my butt or the, my hamstrings, but girls, when I tell you all over, all over, and they say it's like the protective fat for the baby, that's great, but Homegirl right here, she is rocking it, and I am owning it, and I love it, but I think, I never realized that um, that happens, and they say it's a lot more tendency, obviously, with genetics, and also having a little girl, tendency, like, you, you tend to put on a little bit more cellulite while you're pregnant, but this just came out of nowhere, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go tanning. I need to do something to not have this happen anymore. Sorry, I have a little cold. So I just got sick, change of season, so I'm sorry if I keep on rubbing my nose, but I'm just coming down from a cold. Um, so back to the cellulite. So yeah, so we have cellulite, and I've been using coconut oil all over my body. No stretch marks yet, knock on wood. I'm happy about that, no stretch marks. But um, I have been eating pretty clean, not super clean, but pretty clean. Um, and before I was pregnant, I used to do like the 80-20 rule. Now I'm probably more like 60-40. Um, I eat really good for breakfast, really good for lunch. If I'm snacking on anything, it's probably more fruit, apples, pineapple, oranges, and yogurt. Love Greek yogurt. I probably have two a day at least, and about three servings of fruit. Obsessed with it. Sometimes, yeah, like I definitely go down and, you know, get down and dirty with some french fries. I obsess with french fries, but um, I probably have like two things of french fries a week. Um, haven't had ice cream at all my whole pregnancy. Haven't had donuts. Um, sometimes I like bakery goods, but that's like once in a blue moon. Haven't really gone through fast food or anything like that, but really it's just french fries or like burgers, things that are hearty. Um, other than that, it's more of my working out that has completely changed. And it's gone from like, I think it's done a 180, to be honest. I walk, I do some functional workout, but after walking for 15, 20 minutes, I'm exhausted. Like, it's hard for me to breathe. It's hard for me to get my energy up. Um, you know, gaining weight, it puts a lot more pressure on everything in your body. So I do what I can. I listen to my body, but then I don't stress it. 
but I go from working out five to six days a week, high intensity training, heavy lifting, cardio, you know, just I love when my endorphins are pumped up to a steady state walk, sometimes around the block or going to the gym. And it's like two to three times a week, to be honest. So my body's done like a total 180 and it's in shock. So, but right now, you know, I'm kind of listening to what my body needs and what this baby needs and um, I'm doing all of that stuff. But I got to tell you a funny story and I hope you find this funny. <laughs> so this week I was taking a shower and I hope there's no boys watching this because it's a little bit more TMI. I was taking a shower and all of a sudden I'm washing with soap and I'm cleaning and everything else and I look down and I don't see anything. But then like I look down and I'm trying to like <laughs> going down this way and I'm like, holy crap, I can't see my JJ anymore. Like not even if I try to bend over, I can't even bend over. I cannot see her. I don't even know what she looks like. I don't even know if she's still there or not. And I was like, oh crap. Mike comes running into the bathroom. He goes, what? I'm like, I can't see my vagina anymore. And he goes, that sounds like a serious problem. I'm like, yeah, it's a serious problem. Like, the girl needs to groom, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the touch and feel type of situation. You can't, you can't see. Oh my gosh. That was a rude awakening. And you're probably laughing right now because you've experienced this. So I text one of my friends the next morning and I said, it's official. I cannot see my vagina anymore. And she starts laughing so hard. And I'm like, this is not funny. Like, <laughs> we're only halfway through. And this little girl on my stomach, it is totally growing so fast. And so anyhow, so she told me to buy a mirror. Like, seriously, a mirror? But I'm going to do it because it's very important. Hygiene is very important. So moving forward, that following day, we go to the doctors. Now brace yourself go to the doctors and I walk in and it's like two weeks after the wedding, feeling good, my stomach's growing. And the week prior, when I tell you, my whole body was itching, like give me a rake, like scratching profusively all over, like my arms, my chest, my stomach, my, my hips, just scratching as I'm walking. Mike's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm so itchy, like I can't even handle myself right now. It felt like I had chicken pox. I wanted to crawl out of my skin. And it passed after two weeks, and now I'm fine. I think she just had a little growth spurt. So I go to the doctor's, my regular checkup, so excited, want to hear the heartbeat, yada, yada, yada. I jump on the scale. Now Mike's in the room waiting for me. Jump on, smile. I look down, and I'm like, oh, my God. No, that cannot be right. I don't think so. And I walk into the room where Mike's sitting, and I have this look on my face, and he knows me so good. He goes, what's up? I'm like, nothing. And he goes, you just jumped on the scale. I'm like, yep. And he's like, are you pissed? I'm like, I'm not pissed. I'm just confused. So 10 minutes later, the doctor walks in, and we talk about everything and how the baby's doing, how I'm doing, if I have any questions. And then she says to me, we need to talk about something. I said, what? We need to talk about your weight. Let me just tell you, if I could have took a damn club and clubbed that doctor, I would have. I was so pissed. My chest was full of hives. My face was beet red and I was just furious. Not because the way she said it, because I haven't even been eating that bad and I'm pregnant and my hormones are out of control. And B-I-T-C-H mode was about to come out because, girlfriend, I am pregnant. Like, you don't say that to a pregnant girl, okay? And she's like, well, on the average, we want you to gain between 35, 30 to 35 pounds, and you've already gained 24 pounds. Yeah, no kidding. I saw the number on the scale. I know how much I weigh. And she goes, well, we just don't want you to gain any more than 10 pounds for the next couple of weeks. What? Yeah, right. 
Who are you kidding? You can't control a woman's hormones and what they're craving. I mean, it's not like I'm stuffing my face into a gallon of ice cream all the time. But if I want a damn cheeseburger with french fries, my ass is going to have cheeseburger with french fries. I promise you. And I was about to go crazy. And Mike's looking down at it. He's grabbing his phone. He's like, ooh, am I getting in the middle of this? Ooh, she just turned her. I was so pissed. And the fact that Mike was there and heard that, I was even more mad. Because then Mike's like, well, what do we do? We, we're going to cook like turkey and lean meat and vegetables and quinoa. What? I'm not in contest prep. I don't want any of that stuff. I want like eggs and like toast and fruit, but I don't want to be on a schedule. Who wants to be on a schedule? So now Mike's wants to prep all my food, right? Okay. So I was so livid. Let me tell you. Have you been have you been in this position before? Because now I'm thinking to myself, geez, I don't want to give myself or the baby diabetes because that's what she's nervous of or having deliver a really big baby and have to do a C-section instead of natural. But I'll tell you, I'm not even eating that bad. So I'm just going to keep on doing me and doing the best that I can do. But I don't even feel like I've gained 24 pounds. I feel like I've gained maybe like 17. And that makes a big difference on someone that's five foot one. I'm going to tell you, five pounds big difference. And I think it's a little bit more than five, but you get what I'm saying. So long and behold, they won't want me to gain any more weight, more than 10 pounds for the rest of the trimester. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I'll try my hardest. I'll start walking more, doing something, but I have never in my whole life had anyone tell me that I'm gaining too much weight and I got to watch my weight. And I was distraught. I was upset and I was pissed. And let me tell you, my daughter was pissed too because I was trying, she was trying to get her heartbeat and that little girl was flipping all over the place and going from the right side to the left side. And the doctor's like, she's giving me a hard time. She won't let me listen to her heartbeat. She goes, I'm like, yeah, I know. She knows mom's pissed, so she's pissed too because you're taking away her French fries. And she, the doctor started laughing so hard and I was just like, oh my gosh. So... We walk out of there and now Mike's trying to prep all my food and eat healthy and these, um, you know, pregnancy women approved protein shakes and protein bars. Eh. I'll drink it and eat it once in a while, but sometimes, you know, you just want some good hearty food. You really do. And I'll tell you, if you're going through this and if you're a new mom and if you're pregnant or if you're having your second child, I just started reading an amazing book and I think you should read it too. It's the Jenny McCarthy book that she that she wrote right before she had her baby, um, and it's called Belly Laughs. I'm going to tell you, I started crying. I was laughing so hard about this. Crying. So it made me feel better, and it, it, just, it just makes you laugh because, you know, I'm human, and I'm pregnant, and I'm hormonal, and I have cravings just like everyone else. And yeah, I'm a fitness model. Yeah, I'm a fitness coach and I coach girls from all over the county and all over the United States. But sometimes you just have to kind of let yourself do what it needs to do. And if this baby's craving what it's craving, I'm not going to deprive her. I'm going to give it to her. And mommy deserves it too because I work so hard and we're pregnant and we need to own it. So I'm going to own my curves. I'm going to own being 140 pounds right now, and I'm going to love every stinking moment of it, every piece of cellulite that's on my body, and every ounce of fat that I gain, and I'm going to love it because you know what? I'm going to be able to take it right off right when this baby's done with. I know I need to switch my mental state right when I'm finished delivering this baby, and I will be in the best shape of my life, and I'll feel the best that I can feel because my baby deserves it, so does my husband, and so do I. So for right now, I'm going to enjoy being pregnant and I'm going to enjoy food if I want to have food. I'm not going to go off the deep end and I'm going to walk as much as I can. But if another doctor tells me that again, I'm just going to club their ass. So that's what I have for you. And I hope you found it a little bit funny and I hope you could relate to it. And I hope you're having a great day. So I'll talk to you guys soon. And to all the pregnant women out there and all the moms out there, love all you guys. Respect all you guys, and I cannot wait to connect with you again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.